Hi everyone, it's Tara Bianca with Be Like Transformative Therapy. And today I want to talk about respiratory sinus arrhythmia in the most basic way. We'll do a simple little experiment as well so that you can feel this in your own body. Let's begin today with our experiment. So I want you to go ahead and find a pulse point in your body. That could be at your wrist, that could be at your carotid artery, wherever you are able to actually feel your pulse. And in case you need a reminder, please do not go finding your pulse with your thumb. Please use your other fingers instead. Okay, so I'm going to monitor my pulse at my wrist. And if you want to copy me, then you're going to head to the radial side of your wrist. So remember, radius is on the thumb side and ulna is on the pinky side. So you're going to go to the radial side of your wrist and fall into that wrist crease. So I like to hold my wrist this way, but the pulse would be over here. So I'm just taking my four fingers and I'm laying them on that radial side of the wrist and then I'm just relaxing and I'm just feeling into that pulse. So now really start to connect with your pulse. Keep your fingers there. You don't need a lot of pressure. The lighter the pressure, the better actually. And once you're really connected with that pulse, I want you to slowly, quietly, gently just inhale through your nose and I want you to notice what you feel. And then I want you to slowly, gently, quietly exhale through your nose and I want you to notice what you feel. And so that I can do it with you, let's go ahead and take a few breaths just like that, slowly inhaling and exhaling through the nose Noticing what you feel happening in your pulse. What did you notice? Anything? Well, what I noticed and what I hope you noticed is that as you took your inhale slowly, you kind of felt your pulse gradually speeding up and then as you took your exhale slowly, you actually felt your pulse starting to slow down a little bit. Did you feel that? We're always talking about heart rate in terms of beats per minute. Let's say 60 beats per minute. But this should demonstrate to you that those 60 beats per minute are not evenly divided. It's not a metronome. There's going to be moments in that 60 second period where your heart is beating faster than one beat per second, and then there's going to be moments in that 60 second period where your heart is beating slower than one beat per second. Hence the reason we use the word arrhythmia. Typically, we associate the word arrhythmia with something bad, but in this case, it literally just means an irregular rhythm. And in fact, we find that there are some benefits to this particular arrhythmia. What you just experienced demonstrates this interrelationship between your breathing and your autonomic nervous system response. This relationship is one of those things we're talking about when we're discussing hacking into your breathing in order to create global systemic changes in your body and in your mind. So what did we just find out? When we inhale, the vagus nerve is inhibited, the heart rate speeds up, and we experience more of a sympathetic response. When we exhale, the vagus nerve is stimulated, the heart rate slows down, and we experience more of a parasympathetic response. Not everyone's heart rate may be so sensitive to changes in respiration, but it is thought that higher variability or more pronounced respiratory sinus arrhythmia may equate to overall better cardiovascular health, improved vagal tone, more efficient gas exchange, and also a greater ability to adapt and respond accordingly to changes in the environment. So I hope that was helpful. I know that terms like heart rate variability and respiratory sinus arrhythmia are getting thrown around quite a bit these days. So I just wanted to make a video to offer you guys this little nugget of information. I hope you got some value out of it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, please be sure to check out my totally free Breath Basics 6-Day Challenge.
my four-week breath boot camp, my private online Be Light community, and my free functional breathing PDF. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, you may do so by visiting my Buy Me a Coffee page. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.